My Hebrew Israelite brothers and sisters scattered all over the globe, welcome back. This is your Moray Yeshu Ben Uriah Israel. And I just want to take this time to say Shabbat Shalom. I trust you have been enjoying the Shabbat. Remember, it is not your Shabbat, it's the Yahuwah Shabbat. He rested. Elohim said he, he created the earth and uh, the world in, in, a, in six days and then on the seventh, he sanctified the seventh day and he set it apart. Sanctification means to set apart. He set it apart and he hallowed it. He made it holy. So it's a, it's a holy day. And it's a day for us to remember all what he has done for us and and to remember what he said in his word. Now, you, you know, my brothers and my sisters, before the commandments were given to Moshe, the Shabbat was already sanctified and set apart. So um, he wants us to remember that day. Amen? We want to remember it and to, to observe it and, you know, the best way, I'm, I'm, like I said before, I don't want to be legalistic, but you know, if you don't have jobs that are, uh, uh, you know, require you working on Shabbat, if you're just doing it for overtime, then, you know, you, you're not obeying what Yeshua said, what Yahuwah said. Um, remember, Yeshua said in his word also, that he did not come to abolish the law. The Shabbat is one of the laws, okay? So he did not come, you know, to abolish it, but he come to fulfill it. And he said, not one jack, not one tittle. Not, nothing from the law should be taken away. He said, everything that Yahuwah tells us in his word, we should obey it. Now, um, let me say this. Um, we're going to go, we're going to, continue in, in the series that we've been doing uh, on um, uh, Psalm 91. I, I want to say this, my brothers and my sisters, that a great number of you over the past week have um, subscribed to this channel. And I want to thank you. I want to, to, to just tell you a special thank you. Okay? Right now, I think we have between 200 or 199 to, to make a thousand. Ask your friend, ask your friend, if, you know, to, 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 to participate. Ask your loved ones. Every person that has a cell phone, okay? Ask them if they will subscribe to this um, channel. Uh, we have some, some dynamic messages, you know? and teaching to, to do, but we cannot do them in the 15-minute sessions. Okay, we need more time, okay? So we can give illustrations, we can, we can talk and, and, you know, and, and can feed you with the word of Yahuwah, okay? So please, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But you know what? Most of all, I want to thank you for your prayers. Thank you for praying for me, your Moray. Thank you, thank you. And... Um, I, I tell you what, there's another Moray, a good friend of mine, Yeshu, I mean Yehu, um, in, in, um, in, in, in California, and I, I want to thank him also for his prayers and, and for his uh, encouraging his fellowship to subscribe, um, you know, um, subscribe to this channel. And... Uh, I, I, the 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 ark the ark okay he's he's the memory of the ark the ark is awakening remnant coalition and he has been so gracious in allowing his fellowship people from his fellowship are, are you know brothers and sisters from his fellowship to to support us in this he is a good friend of mine we go way back. I'm telling you, over 20 years we go back and, and you know, and, and 
I'm sure you've heard him talk about some struggle that he and I went through with, with some organizations that we work with. But you know what, my brothers, my sisters, Yahweh is blessing us. He's blessing his channel, and he's blessing this channel. We're not in competition, we're friends. And as a matter of fact, I consider myself a part of the ark, okay? I consider myself a part of the ark because in California, my wife and I um, were part of that fellowship. And, and, you know, good teaching, good teaching. He is a dynamic dynamic teacher and I encourage you to tune in to the ark his, his service is about um, eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time or uh, uh, ten o'clock Eastern Standard Time which would be eight o'clock um, Pacific time so please please by all means subscribe to his channel if you have not subscribed yet and invite your friends also to do so okay all right now my brothers and my sisters let me say this again that um the gentile world the gentile rule is coming to an end and because the gentiles rule is coming to an end they're going to be doing a lot of stuff okay bad stuff crazy stuff to keep us Hebrew Israelites in subjection, okay? Any weapon they can find to, to, to war against us, they will. So you know what I'm doing here today? Uh, before I go into, um, into Psalm 91, verse 8, we're going to be dealing with today. Please, by all means, hold your head up. Walk worthy walk uprightly they're gonna they're gonna say well it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you do good or bad they're gonna say evil against us they're gonna try to pull us down but do not give them a weapon do not give them anything for them to say you see see what he did now there are some people out there there's some some hebrew israelite teachers out there that are not walking uprightly. Okay? You might have heard of some of them and the names, and so I'm not going to call anybody's name, and, and you know, so, you know, I can be charged for libel, libel or whatever. I'm not going to call anybody's name. But what I'm saying that you look and you pay attention to those who are teaching the word and follow those who are teaching the word. Do not follow fake teaching. Do not follow people who are just zealous. Because, you know, we have gone through so much that it is easy for us to, you know, look back and, and, and because of this stuff that was done to us and to our ancestors here in, in the United States, you know, and also in the Caribbean islands and South America and all over the world. You know, um, over 450 years of, you know, our people suffer through slavery again, okay? So do not, do not just use that. I don't never tell you not to remember that. This is something that you must remember, but don't react to it to the point where you start, you know, um, turning to violence, something like that. We don't want any violence. All we want is prayer and the reading of the word and the teaching of the word, living by the word, Okay, and stand up. But um, over last two weeks now, you, you, you know about the, 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 um, the incident up there in Pittsburgh where this Gentile young man traveled all the way up there and targeted, you know, Hebrews with like people and shot them down. Okay? All right. Now, let me say this. You're going to hear of things like that more and more and more and more and more and more. We're going to hear of them. Um, we saw it, you know, when they were shooting on people. Um, many years they did it, and, they, you know, they did it through disguise. They did it because our people were scared to talk up because, you know, we didn't want to target our family members and our children and so on, and they didn't, 
you know, but now they're standing up. Our people are coming to the light and they're standing up and they're saying that we are not going to take it any longer. Now, some of these things were prophesied that would happen to us because of the sin and trespasses of our ancestors. Okay? So the Hebrew Israelite people are going through what we call literal hell throughout the world. Here in the United States and also, you know, in the Caribbean islands and, and different places, they are carrying on. Some, some of the, the Hebrew Israelite um, leaders, you know, they're following just what the Gentile people do. But remember that Yahweh is coming back, right? To his son, the king. Yeshua and is going to set up his rule among us. Okay? And a lot of the things that we're going through now, we will not have to face them anymore because he's going to come with a new kind of rule, a rule of righteousness, okay? And, and, and it's going to be at a point where we will not have any need for us to be on YouTube talking to people because they said he, he will have already have written his word in the hearts, in our hearts. And so we won't have any need for our brothers to tell our brothers or to tell any, our aunties or auntie or cousin or to tell anyone because they have already had the word written in their hearts. So please, my brothers and my sisters, please be on the alert. Be wise. Be wise. And, and, and teach your children. Train them up. Tell them who they are. Um, Moray has, has a series of teaching about um, raising up, you know, kings and queens, you know. And, and, um, and so, if you listen to some of his teaching, you will hear some of the things that he said about how to deal with your children and how, how to teach them so that they will understand, they will come to a place where they know exactly what Yahuwah requires of them. If they don't know, they will grow up as tyrants. They will grow up ignorant, you know, of what's going on among us, around us, and they should know who they are. Don't allow anybody to tell you that, they, that you are Gentiles. The Gentiles turn things around, okay? and say that, no, they are the godly people, they are the people of Yahuwah. And we, Israelite, you know, we are the Gentiles. No, there's no way it's taught in the Bible. The Bible tells us in, in, in Genesis chapter 10, verses 1 through 4, you know, who we are, who the Gentiles are. We are the children of Shem, okay? We are of that, that lineage. From Shem down through our grandfather Abraham, or you say Abraham, okay, and through Isaac and through Jacob. That is where we came from, through that lineage. For many years we've been fooled and been turned around and, you know, and so we've been confused because there's no teaching that tells us in the history of who we're supposed to be and who we are. We are the children of Jacob, okay? One of his 12 sons, okay? He had 12 sons, and, okay? And there were 12 tribes, and we are from one of those tribes. Now, we planned that we were going to deal with um, Psalm 91, 8. We haven't gotten there yet, but in the next session, we will do that. We're going to ask you to walk with the king. Walk with the king and be a blessing. And we are asking you to continue to subscribe to this channel. Continue to pray for your moray. And not just for me, but for all those morays who are teaching the truth. Pray for them, lift them up, because, you know, we are the forefront of the battle. Okay? And so we are the one that the enemy is going to come at first. So they can scatter it the people uh, and, and come at them later. Okay, so be a blessing and walk with the king. Shalom.